So it's really sad how underdiagnosed it is and how incredibly treatable it is. Wow. Okay. Yeah. That, I, can't, I can't believe that. It's, it's so fascinating, right? Again, because these things haven't been measured since we were young and because we don't know what to look out for, you could be sitting there for months or years going, why do I wake up feeling like this? Maybe I'm anxious. Maybe I'm stressed. And that could be a part of it, but there's something else going on as well. Yeah, I can tell you how many people that I simply asked a few questions I just asked you. And they're like, yeah, I have that. Yeah, I have that. And it's like a revelation. And they're 55 years old and they have sleep apnea. They've had it for 25 years. So it's really sad how underdiagnosed it is and how incredibly treatable it is. And I could change the trajectory of your life, you know, because once you treat sleep apnea, your metabolism actually gets under control and you start losing weight, you start having less glucose spikes, you start um, eating better, you, you feel less brain fog, and then you also prevent, al sleep apnea is one of the main risk factors for Alzheimer's disease, mm -hmm, so you mm -hmm. prevent Alzheimer's too. So mm -hmm. once again, is knowing early and treating things early.